He's already starred in fan favorite shows like Wicked, The Bridges of Madison County, and his current gig as Dimitri in Broadway's Anastasia. On his 26th birthday, my guest today talks about balancing sports and show tunes as a teen, mastering the art of the shaky stage door selfie, and how an Aaron Tveit song and a Facebook message from a famous stranger got him to New York City. So you sent me a Facebook message. A Facebook message. Being like, uh, so I heard you sang the song, did you sing it well? <laughs> and I was like, what? Like, who is this guy? And you didn't and then, know who he was. I didn't know who he was. Right. Of course, like right. super naive, Some like, kid. oh, I'm just missing yeah. the song. So I look it up and I'm like, like I thought I was in big trouble. I was like, oh no. Sit back and take a shot as Derek Klenna kicks off a new season of Show People. Hello, Mr. Klenna. Hi, how you how doing? How are you? I'm good. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. How's Thanks life, for having me. Uh, how's life on the Broadway? Uh, it's amazing. You know, Anastasia. It's a yeah, beautiful like show. Beautiful, beautiful people coming. It's Crazed great. fans. Yeah. And you're playing like a, like, like a dream role. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is like one of those people that you like grew up dreaming about. Yeah, this is like one of the animated movies that I was always like, oh, wouldn't that be cool if they made a stage production of it someday? Yeah. And and Here you're I am. engaged. I am. A lot of things are happening. I am. A lot, like, a lot, a lot happening. Like, like a, a peak moment in your life, correct? Yeah. This you know, like it's, it's been like a crazy, exciting year and obviously an exciting time. And okay. and it's your birthday. It's my birthday. birthday. Oh now, now my gosh. Now it's not going to be your birthday when people watch this. But today right. is your birthday. Today is my and birthday. So we have a little, uh, a little gift from, from us. Oh, thank so, you guys. Uh, you check, check that thank out. Thank you. You want me to check it out? It's, it's a little. All right. Um, you know, I don't know. Anastasia. Oh, there you go. It's, it's a classic, classic, classic Russian, Sole, vo classic Russian, Russian vodka. Now, in the um, theme. thank I, you guys. It is That's really early nice. in the day. Yes. But I would ask you if you would mind. There's also something else in that bag. Okay. Would you uh, Would you have a shot with me? <laughs> do you mind? Can we just pick, I, all we right. kick it off. Pick all right, it? let's do all right. it. Let's just let's just kick this, it off. This this might this be interview. the earliest shot I've ever had. Yeah, me too. And uh, all right. this is and the first interview I've done in a while for show people. So all right, just, I think we should kick it off and yeah, I mean, in honor of you oh, and your many thank years. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, fill it up. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have topped it off, should I? But you know. Well, Cheers. Thank you Cheers so much. You. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Thank birthday, you. Sir. Ah. <laughs> yeah. We did that. Yeah, it's real vodka. We did that. It's really, it's really, it's ah. a real deal. Now, since it says your birthday, will there be other drinking mm. at some point? No, you know, the, the biggest thing, the, the thing I'm looking forward to um, most tonight at Anastasia is we, I get to wear the crown jewels tonight. When you're, when you're the birthday boy or girl, Mary Beth, who plays the, the beautiful, Dowager Empress yeah. blesses you with her her crown jewels. So I'll get to wear the crown and, and the necklace tonight, and oh. everyone will sing happy birthday. Wow. And we'll all celebrate over cake pre-show. Okay. So I'm looking forward to that. I mean, when you're on Broadway, you're, you're in a schedule. When I'm, yes. Yeah, so you can't really go crazy. <laughs> no, I mean, like yeah, other yeah. other guys in their 20s, who maybe they're celebrating a birthday. Yeah, I, I get together with some, some friends this weekend, and we had like a birthday dinner. Cool. At like a hibachi restaurant. Uh-huh. You've, you've, when was the last time you did hibachi? Have it's you ever done been, it? It's been, I don't know, okay. actually. It's, I haven't done it since probably like high school. Right. And it's the best thing ever. Remind like me it's what it's actually must. like. You know, like, like they have those, like, like those, yes, like Benihana. So they're at the table. They're at the table, and they're, and they're like, flipping things, I and you're catching Vegas, things in your mouth. Yes, yes. yes. You do this. Yeah. But it's the most fun. We had, like, a small group of people, and, and yeah, it's, it was, it was really fun. And, uh, was what's your fiance, who was yes, not your fiance Alicia. at that point, yeah. probably. Was she uh, no, she, she was. Oh, she this was. This was the okay. day of. The day this, of. This, this dinner was planned to celebrate my birthday. Okay. And little did everyone know that we'd also be celebrating. And apple engagement. picking. Yeah, and apple picking. And yeah, uh, we avocado went. toast with bacon. Yes. Which I didn't know of. It's, it's more just avocado toast with bacon included, bacon on top. Oh, okay. And that's a must. And, and a then ring. like a drizzle of like ranch dressing. Okay, and a ring. And a ring. At what yeah. point did you decide that you would propose with avocado toast? Um, it, was, it was earlier in the week when all this was kind of... Brewing? <laughs> coming to fruition. It didn't all come together in one week. No, no, no. I mean, I, mean, I knew. Like, it, we... We celebrated our like eight years since we eight, met this past week. Eight years together. Eight years. So you so met when you were a teenager. I I had I celebrated my 18th birthday a week after meeting her. Wow. <laughs> which is wow. Which is yeah. Which is crazy. 
So yeah, we've been together a long time. We met at UCLA. And so it was kind like of, a, it was first, a celebra- it wait. was zero week. It was like before we even started classes. I was going to say, like, that's like the start of class. We moved in. Yeah, we moved in and friends from her dorm were meeting up with friends from my dorm, just random people. And okay. we're like, let's go and like meet people and like go to dinner. So we, like, we all went to the Maybe sushi marry place. Them eventually. Marry them eventually. Yeah, exactly. I mean, who else could say that? No, but we, we ended up sitting next to each other and like talking and like, we didn't actually start dating really until like like a couple months later. I mean, we were talking off but and you on. you must have been but, like, Whoa, But I was like, definitely gorgeous. like. gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was definitely like, this This girl's special. And eight years later, now we're engaged. It's yeah. kind of hard to believe. And so the avocado yeah. toast, is this a regular thing you do? This do you, is do you like, make food for oh, her? Oh, it's often? our go-to. It's our go-to. We'll okay. either do like, like diced potatoes, like grilled with like bacon, like um, onions, like a big uh-huh. mishmash of all this stuff, or avocado toast. and. I felt like that symbolized us. And you know, we, we like cherish, you know, in the Broadway schedule, she works on a regular schedule. She works in the fashion industry and, and so right. we, we hardly ever see each other. So the times that we do get to see each other in like our special time, I guess, mm-hmm. where we just sit and like actually get to like enjoy mm-hmm. um, life together and is, is Saturday and Sunday mornings. So that it was a big symbol of us mm-hmm. and our, our happy time. and. I felt like it was appropriate. That's so sweet. It's amazing yeah. that you uh, found the right one so early. I mean, a lot I of know. people must say to you, like, really, dude? Like, this, like you've been with her yeah. now, like, for all these formative years, yeah. right? And you've been, like, the, the toast, one of the toasts of Broadway. I mean, you've oh, had this thanks. amazing career happen. You've had a it's lot of attention. And, uh, and you've kind of had her by your side for that whole thing. Yeah. She's been so supportive, and, and the, act, the life of an actor is insane. Um, yeah. And so to, to have a functional relationship with an actor and someone who's not mm-hmm. in the performing right, she's arts. Not in the business. Yeah, she's not in the she's business. The um, you know, it's, it's really hard. And, and she moved out to New York shortly after I did because I, I left during school, left during yeah. my junior year to come out here for Carrie. And then she actually graduated after her third year at UCLA. Oh, wow. And was able to come out to New York to pursue she's this, a this fashion. Uh, yeah, she's, she's really smart. What's her uh, favorite of your performances? Oh, gosh. This one, probably. Really? <laughs> she was a huge Anastasia okay, fan. Okay, okay. Um, growing up. So when I got the audition and then when I actually got this and we were going to Hartford, she was like, I'm a little upset that you're going to be out of town for two and a half months, but <laughs> if you're going to leave, Anastasia is what I'll let you leave for. So I was like, thank you. That's nice. So yeah, um, she was she was thrilled and she's seen the show. She saw it in Hartford like three or four times. She's uh-huh. seen the show here three or four times. And every uh-huh. time we have new friends coming into town, she sees it again. And Anastasia holds a special place in her heart. Yeah, and think about she it. Now that little girl that watched that movie over yeah. and over, now she gets to marry Dimitri. Yeah. yeah it's crazy. <laughs> of course she's so excited. so weird. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's cool. It's very cool. Awesome. Well, I'm very excited for you. Thank you. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right yeah. back and we're going to talk about Anastasia. back with Mr. Derek Klenna, who of course is Dimitri and Anastasia, dream role for you and your fiance. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> We've been enjoying the Broadway.com blog, Royal Misfits, Christy yeah. Altamar's uh, amazing backstage vlog. And she is. That and she's, she's like the showrunner of it. I feel like she comes in with like a storyboard every week <laughs> and like a script and like we all sit invested. down at the table and we're all like, all right, let's just do a read through. <laughs> <laughs> She's so prepared. She's putting a lot of pressure on the cast, or is it is it a welcome like a like a welcome diversion? No, I, I mean it's definitely a team effort all around. Because the thing with the vlogs is like being the leading role in the show. Yeah. She's on stage the entire time. Yeah. So it's amazing. We that don't she's really doing get this. like many times to to have those like goof off moments like backstage. Yeah. Like, we don't have a lot of backstage time. So she has to be very strategic about when all this gets planned yes. and like when we're filming. And um, so the cast and, and everybody's had to like, you know, come in like 15 minutes, half hour early to like, you know, calls for to like film certain There's scenes. There's a special call and for Royal yeah. No, we seriously, we have like a call. Um, <laughs> so, but everyone's like super game. She also edits game. it too, everyone. She, she this edits is not, it. Yeah. Well, because like uh, this episode that's coming out this week, John and I, 
John and I did like a scene where we got into a big fight over like something that I discovered. Well, it's been brewing. It's, yes, yes, yeah, it's tension. been brewing. It's been brewing. The tension between you and <laughs> over the over the course of the season. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's this, the arc. The climactic fight is finally here <laughs> um, that we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Um, so we literally Chrissy's like perched in like the corner of John's room as him and I are just getting in each other's faces and then we had to like cut and like she's like you guys just move in a little closer because you're not quite in frame and we're like okay we'll do it again we'll take it wow. from that line and then we get through halfway through the scene and like one of us would start laughing we'd be like alright just keep rolling keep rolling keep going we're gonna start over so poor Christy's sitting there going like in her head oh my god I'm gonna have to edit this together and they're just chopping this whole scene up but she's a trooper and she has a vision obviously she has a vision and yeah we trust her what I love about the vlogs is really you get a, a sense of how fun yeah. it is between the cast and sort of the backstage life of shows yeah. this then this seems like a very rich like a rich backstage yeah backstage. and I think that that started even during um, a rehearsal process uh -huh. I mean starting from the top, Darko uh, Trezniak, yeah. our director, created this comfortable, positive environment that I think everybody kind of fed off and, mm -hmm. and, and that translated to the writers and, and their writing process and to the cast. And um, yeah, it's a great building. Everybody is, we're all really great friends and I think that's why mm -hmm. the vlog and, and the show, honestly, the show has been successful. I think is I think a big part is there's just a warmth in the building and and we are, one big family, which I feel like doesn't always happen on Broadway. You mm -hmm. know, there's so much stress that's involved and it's so physical maintaining a show for an extended period of time, but we're all in this together and, and it's, uh, yeah, it's a lot of really, really good people. So what about the, uh, the Fanastasias? There are many yeah. of them. Yeah. And I've been in Chrissy's, I haven't <coughs> been in your dressing room, I've been in Chrissy's dressing room and there's yeah. crate, like there's art every, I mean, it's wallpapered. Yes. With, you know, yeah. we've all been in, in the vlog, but we, it's wallpapered with this fan stuff. With fan mail, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's we do it. We have crazy fans. We have fans from the film. We have fans, new new fans of the show. Yeah. Um, fans of the story. Fans of ours from like previous work. So there's just everyone's like joining together mm -hmm. as like the Fanastasia movement right. like, grows. Can it's so they positive sometimes and not breathe when they speak when they see <laughs> yeah. you? Because I saw actually sat when I saw the show. I sat next to a Japanese young Japanese girl yeah. who was just. Um, quietly gasping throughout the entire show. Like she, she was losing her mind. Like it was like she was in a virtual reality game and not believing that this thing she dreamt of is coming to life in front of her. Yeah. So it seems like they might actually have a, a difficult time communicating. They do and it's, it's funny when we, <laughs> the selfie game gets like super extreme. Uh -huh. So everybody wants a selfie. Everybody wants a selfie, So once yeah. one person starts doing a selfie, everybody wants a selfie. Right. And we're more than happy to like pose and, and yeah. you know, we appreciate them being That's there. a lot of selfies. It's a lot of selfies. But the best are the shaky selfies. <laughs> the people that are so excited, so excited that we can't get a good one. So every once in a while there'll be a, one of these. Which is super sweet, and usually like we'll help them out and be like, "All right, here we go. Let's get it. I'll tap it. I'll tap it. You just hold it." Um, which is really sweet. But there, there is the occasional shaky selfie, and we do get like overexcited because people have waited years, years yeah. for this. And yeah. um, and in this this coming November is the twentieth anniversary of the of the film. Oh my God! What's gonna happen? Are we gonna do something? What are we, gonna what are we do? doing? I don't know. I honestly don't know what we're doing. What are we gonna but do? probably gonna do something. Do something. Um, yeah. So twenty years since the film came out. So all these people that have grown up with it and waited all this time for it to finally come to be a Broadway show is yeah. happening, and it's exciting. Do things go wrong on stage? I mean, you seem like you have a yeah. really great uh, poker face. I feel like you would really be able to like keep things. Do anything. You know who ever? doesn't have a good poker face who? though? John Bolton. John Bolton. <laughs> And he, when I, when I see him starting to giggle, because he can be like Jolly Vlad. Yeah. And he's going to hate me yeah. for saying this, but his role has a little more leeway than mine yes, does. Yes, yes. Um, on, on the chuckle spectrum. Right, <laughs> the chuckle spectrum. So, <laughs> but he's, just, he's the best guy ever. But lately, you know, we have enough inside jokes now that if something does I'm happen sure. on stage, we really have to keep it together because we're like, John... We're, it's really great that we're such good friends, but this is a problem. Like if one of us starts breaking, the other one knows it, and then it just start, it slowly starts to spiral. So there are moments when we, we definitely have to keep it together. 
uh, lately the show's been pretty good. Not mm -hmm. like a, not like a ton of mishaps. Okay. Every once in a while, someone will just space out and start to do choreo or like go somewhere that they're not supposed to go. Oh, okay. That That's fun. <laughs> like was <laughs> fun and interesting. We're like, oh, where are you today? <laughs> oh, okay, you're gonna, you're gonna make that round? Or like, you know, just... The minute you start to think about blocking and lines and all of that is when, like, problem, like, uh -huh. you just get you in your head about, about things. It. Like, now it. it's like, it's just in your body and like, right. if you just let it happen, it'll happen. So when you start to think about it, that's when like, that's when things get interesting. Does anything ever go wrong with all the video? There's a lot of video. Like, it's all video it's, screens. Are they are you ever in the wrong country? It's or? usually, oh, this is actually kind of funny. The other day, because it's, it's a giant board of, of all these little mini squares, these yeah. LED squares right, that squares, make right. up this giant screen yes. that's like a screen in Times Square. And By the way, Frozen, same thing. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. That, that, Aaron that, Ryan, yeah, he's doing the, the projections for that. Yeah. yeah. So my mom and, and some family friends were at this performance. I love your mom, by the way. We'll get She's to that. She's the best. Yeah. She comes out all the time. Um, but there was one box in the middle of the screen in the back of the stage towards the top that was like turning like blue and green right. in the middle of this like Russian cloudy sky. And it looked like there was like a UFO or something <laughs> was like coming through. So John and I are on stage and we're in the middle of rumor in St. Petersburg and there's a point where we're like, we hub up, hub up, hub up, and we're like moving back up stage and we both look up and we're like, the UFO is coming. It looked like there was literally like a UFO that was coming down into the scene. And, and my mom kept saying like, yeah, the UFO would pop in here and there. <laughs> But it's usually, since it's a huge grid, it's usually like one box here, one box there, yeah. that will that will get finicky and then they can reprogram it and then set it back up. But for the most part, I mean, it's it's pretty incredible what Aaron and, 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 and our production team has yeah. built with that and, yeah. like, and what they're able to do with it's it. It's beautiful. It would yeah. suck if like they, somebody hijacked it and like a Kardashian episode was playing on one of those boxes. Oh my gosh, boxes can you imagine? Some, right? I mean, uh, maybe that could happen. Someone just, yeah, maybe someone just hacks like in. Yeah, like some hack it in. Yeah, oh totally. Gosh, like, that's scary. I don't want to think about that. I don't want to think about that either. Uh, we're going to take another break. We'll be right back with more Derek Klenna. Back with Derek Klenna. Let's remind people about your amazing resume. I mean, you've had a really great few Thanks. years in yeah, New York City. It's been a crazy. So I years. first loved you in Dogfight, right? Thank amazing. You. Dogfight, Thanks. Lindsay Mendez, Pasek and Paul musical. Uh, they, they, they're famous now. Yeah, they're struggling. Yeah, yeah, those guys. <laughs> wow. Uh, and then, of course, you were in Carrie. Yeah. And then you were in Wicked. You were a Fierro. I was. Of the pants. Bridges of Madison County. Mm -hmm. and, and now Anastasia. And now, what all these shows have in common is that they all have crazy fan bases, yeah. right? I mean, they, every one of those shows has like this A unique weird, fan base, yeah. Yeah, and, and so I can't figure out if you're lucky enough to end up in great shows with fan bases or if shows get great fan bases oh. because of Derek Klenna. Oh. This is, now this is the question. You have a, I mean, you have a lot to live no, up to I, now. It's like you can't just do some random show that like no one's gonna oh go gosh. like. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, isn't that kind of crazy? You set the bar high for yourself. Yeah, you, you can't yeah, you just have. go. Yeah, in your oh, 26 man. years. I mean, you're a young guy. I mean, I've, I've been super fortunate. Yeah. It, I mean, dog, dog fights kind of just happened. I was, I was lucky to be in the room with some amazing people yeah. that I think I love that made show. that show what it is. Yeah, I mean, Joe Mantello, Pat, uh, Benjamin Justin, Peter yeah. Deshander wrote the book, Lindsay, of course. And yeah. like, it was a killer room. And then Wicked is Wicked. Wicked is Wicked. And then Bridges of Madison County has its own like oh my God. cult following. Obviously, uh, Jace Robert Brown, Tony do? winning do score. Do you listen to that album? That album is incredible. I haven't listened to it in a long time because it's weird to listen to your own album. And I, and I listened to it for so long. Yeah. But I mean, Steve Pasquale, he's oh my God. one of my favorite voices in the world. He's yeah. just crazy. And then yeah. Kelly's like yeah. oh, just yeah. stunning. She got her own performing arts center. How about that? Yeah, I saw that? that. She deserves that. She does deserve that. Well, she, she is. Yeah. She's Wonder Woman. Um, yeah, and during Bridges, she had just given birth, and she was like, had her newborn baby backstage, and Crazy. like, she she's a champion. Yeah, and and now good. this, I mean, it's, I, I've been super lucky to be a part of these crazy, crazy groups of people, but I think it's definitely the shows. I don't think it's me. And so it's just let's amazing. go back a little bit. So when yeah. I, so when I saw Dogfire, I went opening night. I saw I was lucky enough to be uh, seated next to your mother. Right. Which was very entertaining, and I, and I loved getting to oh, know yeah. your mom during Dogfight. It was great. She was very excited. She's very excited. It's a big moment for you. So, yeah. hi, mom. And I want to go back a little bit to California, where you, right. you grew up in like Orange County? West Covina. 
Okay, West Covina. What's the, what? Now, now the now the city of crazy ex girlfriend. Everybody knows West Covina. Oh right, from crazy ex girlfriend. Of course. That's so, so that funny. is where I grew up. Okay, that's yeah. so funny, right? Okay, yeah. so you clearly should have a role on. This. I know, and my mom's been like, "Do your agents know that that's where you're from?" <laughs> I mean, because <laughs> you should. You need to let them know that so they can get you in the room. I was like, "Mom, you can I'm put sure. yourself on it." <laughs> yeah, yeah, there I mean, you I don't go. Know. It's just an idea. Oh, I'm gosh. just throwing it out there. I think your mom encouraged you, right, to go into the theater. Did she? I mean, she obviously yeah. drove you to the audition. Where does that first start? What was your first? And I know you're mm. a, you played sports, and we hear this story a lot. Yeah, you know, my first the guy my you have first to choose between sports and singing. Yeah, it was very dancing, high school musical. You know, of we me. hear this early on. I'm, the first show I ever went to was Beauty and the Beast at the Schubert in L.A. Okay, and so at, early on, she exposed uh, my siblings and me to the arts, mm -hmm. and she always had a love for it. So she got us involved in that, and then got us involved in a children's theater that was happening in the area, and then. So all these things started to happen, and she noticed that we had a, a, a love for it and a talent uh -huh. for it and, and kept us involved. I started taking voice lessons when I was like eight or nine years old. Always had a really good ear, and that helped me um, musically, and it's just... So what yeah, was your it was, first it was a song you sang on stage? I did Oliver when I was seven. Wow. And that was the first big role for me, you were I Oliver. think. I was Oliver, you yeah. Booked the lead right from the booked start. Booked the lead. And I played the coveted role of Tom of Warwick in, uh, in Camelot, in, yes. in, in, in Downey CLO. So that's, uh -huh. that, was, that started my regional, okay. the Southern California regional game yeah. for me. And the crazy thing is yeah. you actually got your first big New York audition because of Facebook, <laughs> correct? Yeah. Like, the, like we hear a lot of good and bad well, things the, about well, Facebook. Yeah, I, I, my, first, my very first New York audition was actually for the non-equity tour of Spring Awakening. Spring Awakening, Awakening right, um, okay. Yeah, it, was, it came down to me and Chris Wood, who ended up playing the role on tour. And um, so that was my big first New York audition that I sent to tape in for. Okay. But the one that led to my first New York job so was Aaron Tevay from Facebook. Was in Seattle, correct? Yes. Singing Catch Me If You Can before it came to Broadway. Yeah. And he has this big 11 o'clock number, yeah. Goodbye, which he nailed. Big, yeah. huge song. Yeah, huge Shaman song. Shaman Whitman song. Yeah. And you decided to... I had done a competition in LA and, and it I made, made the top five. And one of the, I got to do my own show as being one of the top five finalists of this competition. So I decided that I wanted to sing that song in my show. So my piano a accompanist musical director was able to put an arrangement together of the song, so I was able to do it. So the show ends up getting reviewed um, in Mark Shaman. So they mentioned in the review that you sang the song. Yes. And Mark Shaman was probably like, wait a minute, there's no sheet music for this song. Yeah. Like, and they're who, like, wait, who is this somebody kid? Else is singing why is he singing this song? Kid? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so, yeah. So he sent me a Facebook message. A Facebook message. Being like, uh, so I heard you sang the song, did you sing it well? <laughs> and I was like, what? Like, who is this guy? And you didn't and know who he was. I didn't know who he was, right. of course. Like, right. super naive. Some like, kid. oh, I'm just yeah. going to sing this song. So I look it up, and I'm like, like, I thought I was in big trouble. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, is this illegal? Like, like I don't over. even know if it's is it illegal. I, I was like, oh, gosh. <laughs> but he was super nice, and he's like, that's awesome. Like, next time you sing it, just send me a recording, because we're going to be looking for Aaron's standby when we transfer the show to Broadway. So I was Your like, Your head uh, must have exploded at that point. Yeah, I was like, yeah. what just happened? And then I actually got asked to sing the song again at a, at a benefit in Anaheim and you um, a month like later. Five cameras, like a five camera shoot with the proper audio. No, 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 yeah, no. It was, you know, it was all, it was all just, just audio in a uh -huh. recording studio. But the, the guys who were putting on the benefit got the sheet music from Mark and they were like, he wants you to send him an MP3 like now. Um, and I was like, okay. So I went to a friend's recording studio, put down like a nice clean track, sent it off, and that led to like a final callback and work session for, for Aaron standby and Catch Me If You Can when yeah. I was during my sophomore year of college. And, and, and um, to casting directors and to yeah. all this stuff. And it, you know, of course it, it didn't work out, but that was like my first big New York audition. Came in, did a, like a dance call, a work session, two final callbacks. And you know, Telsey was like, you know, this didn't work out, but there's a couple other things we wanted mm -hmm. to bring you in for, and one of which was Carrie. Okay. And so I ended up sending an audition for that, coming out for callbacks for the last workshop of the show. Did the workshop, flew back to school for the last week of my sophomore year to do finals. Found out a month later that I got the offer for the off-Broadway run. And then that was, and you, so you left the big school. decision. Yeah, and I you always school. say, now I don't know if you just say this to make your mom happy, but you always say that you want to go and 
I would love finish to finish your studies. Not necessarily. I don't know if I'd be able to finish at UCLA. Right. Like finish online or, or finish yeah. at a school out here. But I'd, I'd love to, at some point, get my degree. I was studying psychology at the time, and mm -hmm. I feel like if I wasn't to do theater anymore or, or um, mm -hmm. in acting in general, that I'd want to go into like counseling or psychology. That would be the career of choice. Yeah. So I'd like to. I'd like to get my degree at some point. Yeah. I mean, and, and there's so much ahead of you. I mean, there's so many, there's so many like yeah. I mean, you can think uh, of dream roles at every age. Yeah, I would. <laughs> there's there's definitely a couple dream roles. I know like Damn Yankees has been like kicking yes, around for the uh, next that. couple I years. So that. I would love to do that at yeah. some point. Um, I love to get more film and TV under my belt. I've never yeah. done like a film, By the way, so I'd love to I'm do film. Kimmy Schmidt, that was fun. Super fun. <laughs> yeah, after doing that, that's like my new life goal. It's like a half hour comedy. Yeah, it's just the best environment, and of course, like that show is run by the best yeah totally. and um that was just easy atmosphere everybody mm -hmm. was just so happy right and the material is so funny that that was that was definitely a highlight of right. like the tv experiences that i've had yeah awesome well i'm excited for all of it i, Thank love, you. I love watching it all happen for you and i can't wait Thanks. to see what's next i can't wait to see the next 20 30 40 years of derek Connor. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh but right now we'll just see. worry about like your wedding yeah getting that going yeah we'll just we'll still be a ways out yeah we're taking it slow yeah yeah it, it's been a busy year yeah um but yeah we're, we're very excited and happy birthday thank so you happy you got to see you on your birthday thank you i'm so happy to be here on my birthday awesome and i'm Best sure place. you look fabulous in mary beth peel's uh drag whatever that yes is. yes i can't <laughs> wait can't wait to be grace with the necklace thank you so much thank you thank you for watching we'll see you next time